Well, hey guys. Hi, Jarvis. You're such a trooper. Yeah, you are. And Mr. Darcy, you feeling better now? A little bit, yeah. <laughs> so, Merry Christmas, you guys. Happy holidays, happy Hanukkah, happy Kwanzaa, all those things that you guys celebrate. Um, it is the week leading up to Christmas. So, I hope you guys are all ready. And um, I know I am, finally, but we don't have a tree up because what well, we do, we have a little tiny LED tree. Um, oh, you peed again. <laughs> um, so we have that and um, I've got all my lights up. I want to put some up in front of the, of like in front of the fence. Hi bud. Hey. He peed. He never pees in the barn. Okay, I'm going to set you guys up. I will be right back. So we're home. Where did we go? Oh my gosh, we always go to so many neat places. Not really, not really. But um, today uh, we had to go to the vet because um, every four weeks uh, these guys go to the farrier and I don't know if he's gonna roll. I hope not. Um, every four weeks we take them to the farrier and um, get their feet done because uh the farrier that we usually have um he's gonna retire a little bit and slow down a little bit and um darcy he needs specialized care uh from his veterinarian because we've got to watch him really good because his ring bone is getting really bad his coffin bone was starting to go like this instead of like this so um you know we they have a farrier on site who is who's very good um he's been there for years and years and years and um so he and my veterinarian they watch them very closely together they trim them special special trim and um you know he gets his feet done so it kind of just makes sense that i bring mr big white fluffy who just rolled <laughs> Well, hold on, I'll show you guys. The joys of owning a gray horse in North Carolina in the winter is that they don't stay gray or white for very long. <laughs> so, uh, anyway. Um, we get Darcy trimmed up, so it just makes sense to bring Jarvis while I'm at, oop, 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 somebody's a little stiff in the butt. <laughs> so it makes sense that we bring him with us, and he gets his feet done at the same time. Doesn't cost anything different, costs the same amount between the two. Good job! <laughs> um, so, it just makes sense. I think Darcy's gonna go down too, but I don't know. So anyway, back to uh, why we were out. Uh, Darcy, again, was getting his feet done and somebody was quitting their food and, oh, man. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh dear Lord. 
You're beautiful, Jarvis. Absolutely beautiful. Good job. He's like, yeah, thanks, Mom. So, um, somebody was quitting their food, and it's usually Jarvis, because he's got such a wavy bite. Um, he tends to quit his food, and that means, if, if uh, I have some non-horse people, um, it's quid, Q-U-I-D. And basically what happens is, they're, as a horse's teeth grows, um, they grow out and they don't get um, worn down evenly. And uh, there we go, look at that. That was a very nice down. That was perfect. Um, he's a good roller. Oh gosh, is he a good roller. Try to get a little closer for you guys. <laughs> and um, and basically what they do is they chew up the food like a piece of bubble gum. They suck on it for a little bit and then they spit it out. And um, there was an awful lot of those balls of food. Good job. Good job. Not bad for a 20 year old. <laughs> um, so basically uh, I decided to make an appointment to have their teeth floated. And that's basically going to the dentist and having those points, those sharp parts, filed down on their, their teeth. So what they do is um, they take a, a little disc, it's about like this, and it's got like diamond pieces on it, and they put it on a drill and they file, they go inside and then they file down the sides there. So the, the points, they grow out this way and they make like cysts and, it's like you biting your cheek. Have you ever bit your cheek? Like. You bite your cheek when you're eating and then the next like three days you're biting that same spot over and over and over. It hurts. It gets raw. Well, that's what those points do to the inside of their teeth. They, they rub and they rub and that's why your horses don't eat. They get off feed and then they get skinny and a whole bunch of other problems happen after that. So it's very important to keep up the dental of your horse and they get their teeth floated every year, once a year. Um, some horses can go once every other year, depending on their diet, but these guys are old. They eat mushy food. They don't really have anything that's going to break those points off, like corn and like crunchy stuff. Um, so today we went to get Jarvis's teeth done because usually he's the quitter. And uh, today he doesn't need them done because he had his done in February. So we're going to bring him back uh, in February to have them done. But this guy right there was eating hay, um, he actually needed his done really badly. Um, I got his done like two years ago and it was just a hand filing and we were gonna get them done last year, but I don't remember why I missed it. I don't remember, maybe I thought I got them done, maybe not, but it's been a while. Last year he must have missed it. So as um, Dr. Peacock was filing his teeth with this little drill and the little disc and the, the sticking in his mouth, she realized he had a loose tooth. So that is another reason why a horse is not going to eat or quid his food is, where did it go? Oh, he must have went in the barn. And if you can imagine now, okay, now you've got these things that are poking inside of your cheek, like you just bit your cheek over and over again. And now you've got a tooth that is loosening. I think his was on the top. Yeah, it was on the top. So you've got, I don't know how long it takes for a tooth to get loose, but it must have been painful for a long time because she could wiggle it with her fingers. So um, while I was there, I was surprised. I was like, can I video? So she said that we could video. So I'm going to put the video in now and show you what happened. My light's on. <laughs> yes. Big ones over there too, so you can get more away. Good boy, lovey. I know. Wow, that is loose, huh? Uh huh. Wow. Right, which would be awesome because it's they don't usually make these that easy. No, so it'd be cool if you would let me just take it, Darcy. Visit to Dr. Taylor. Good boy. I know he was just here. Trying to get that tooth out. Definitely a two-fold visit. Oh, 
Good boy. Okay, round three, the sedation. Oh, do I hear anything crunching? Did you steal it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got it! Yeah, <gasps> look at that. Wow. Easy, bud. Wow. Holy macaroni. That was rotten. It was. These roots are definitely not normal. <laughs> Oh my God, gross. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> I kept the tooth. <laughs> so I'm going to go inside. Um, I am going to um, clean up the, the trailer first because he peed in it. Um, he never ever pees in his trailer, but that must've been from the anesthesia. Um, but, uh, I'm going to go clean up that tooth and I'm going to show you it really what it looks like. And this is going to be really informative, you guys. So stick around and I will be right back. Okay, you guys, I wanted to show you this. Um, I've showed you this on a couple of my other videos, um, but this is a piece of hay that has been quid. This is a quid. Um, I don't know if they call it a quid, but they call the horses who do this quitting. So um, you see these pieces, they're usually pretty big. They're kind of like all jumped up. Here's another one. They just kind of roll them around in their mouth and then spit it out. They don't chew it. Let's see. Um, and there's like a whole bunch. And then it gets like soggy. And it's gross. Here's another one. And another one. This one's a small little piece. It's like a hairball. <laughs> and then there's another one. So they don't really eat it. They just kind of chew it up like a piece of bubble gum and spit it out. So uh, I just wanted to show you that before I, I cleaned up all of this in here. But um, they were all in here, just like everywhere, scattered. So um, now you know what, when somebody says, my horse is quitting his food. Now it's not quitting, as in Q-U-I-T-T-I-N-G, quitting. It's quitting, Q-U-I-D-I-N-G, quitting. So now you know. Be right back. Okay, so we're back and welcome to my kitchen. Um, it's really cold outside and it's getting kind of dark. So I wanted to finish up in here. So, uh, that video was really cool. So now I'm home and I've got everything all set up. Uh, she gave me a huge, uh, bottle of mega antibiotics because you have this like giant hole in your cheek and your mouth. And, um, yeah, so, um, you kind of, it's going to be painful and you want to make sure that it's not getting to get infected. So, um, I want to show you a couple things, uh, the medication that she sent, that Dr. Peacock sent me home with and the tooth. So here you go. Okay. So there's the tooth. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but that's my dog. So this is the antibiotic that she sent me home with a whole bunch. And these, when they say horse pills, I'm not kidding you, dude, this, these guys are like bigger than a, a you know, 800 milligram ibuprofen. This is what he needs to take twice a day. 12 pills twice a day. Now she gave me the syringe, not so you can pop these in here and pop them out and shove them down his throat. But um, she said to use this syringe, put them all inside it, fill it with a little bit of water and it'll dissolve and turn into a paste. And then just like a wormer, you go, you know, and then they have that. She says some of some horses will take it and eat it. So I'll put a few in his food tonight and see what happens. But um, this is what you guys really want to see. So this is a horse tooth. Okay, this is his tooth. Isn't that pretty cool? This is his premolar on if you're looking at him, it's on the right hand side. Now I want you to see a couple of things. Take a note. His gum line is here. Sorry for my nail but his gum line is there. This is the root. Now horse teeth are usually really, really long and they go really far into the jaw. He's 20 years old. He doesn't have much teeth left apparently. 
So, but I want you to take a note on how pointy it is. Check that out. Okay. And I also have my scale because you guys can't tell, but this feels like a rock. So I want to know how much in ounces, that's grams, kilograms, ounces. Okay, let's see how much this tooth weighs. And 1.5, 1 1.05 to 1 ounce. I'd say 1.5 ounces. That's pretty cool. It's bouncing back and forth. So I have to find something that I can relate to. That way you guys can see, um, kind of get an idea as when you hold something in your hand, that's what it's going to be like. So, okay. I found something. Okay. Almost everybody has a, a Keurig machine now or something that takes these K cups. So I just made myself a cup of coffee and yeah, I buy the cheap stuff, <laughs> at least for the decaf. So it's five o'clock. I need to do this. So if I put this on there, it is nearly the same weight as this. So if you all have one of these, just think of a, a K cup that's just a little heavier and that's the weight of what this is. So that's pretty, pretty cool. So that's got a pretty good weight to it. I mean, it's nearly the same size. Think about it. Oops. Yeah, let's try it that way. <laughs> Not really, <laughs> but anyway, um, Oh. <laughs> anyway that's that's his tooth and um yeah so that's that there's his tooth put in your mouth like that <laughs> no but um this is why you don't stick your fingers in uh horses mouths <laughs> so it's supper time and i took that paste and i squirted it in his food really good and i mixed it all up and uh as you can tell he doesn't seem to mind it so I think that's what we're going to do. Oh, <laughs> she's over there. <laughs> Lexi's out here with me. So anyway, um, I hope you guys learned something. I hope you enjoyed this little video. I mean, it was a little, little different. Um, really kind of cool in a lot of ways. So uh, if I learn more about the horse tooth and, and so forth, then I'll make a follow-up video, but that won't be for a little while. But uh, anyway, I just thought I'd send this off to you guys and see what you guys thought of it. And um, thanks for watching. Thanks for sticking around. And I will see you guys next time on Summerfield Farm and Draft Horses. Merry Christmas.